Michael is next. He's in Eastvale, California. Hi, Michael. Hi, Leo. Hi, Leo. Hey, who's that? Those are my little ones. Aw, what are their names? Uh, Madeline and Isabella. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Isabella. Hi. Hi. <laughs> are you all on the way to somewhere? Yeah, we're actually headed up to see some snow right now if we can. Without going nice. Up. Nice. I hear there's a little bit in the mountains. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of snow up there right now. Yes, there is. What can I do for you? Hey, my question is, uh, I just recently started looking into mobile photo printers, yeah. and I want to get your take on it. The, the one I did a little bit more research than others was the HP Sprocket. Yep. And it seems like a good little printer. It's, it's uh, portable. It's rechargeable. The, the ink is on the paper. But I know there's some other options. I want to get you take what you feel is maybe the best one to go in. Yeah, with. this is a hot category right now. These it's for. Uh, I take it that Isabel and Madeline are like their uh, like Instagram and stuff. Yeah. Not as much as Dad. I, dad I, I, is I, in I, Instagram. Instagram. Oh, ha! it's this is for Dad, huh? Uh, so this sprocket is cool. It's uh, it's kind of an it's an instant printer, right? So as you said, the uh, there's no ink. You buy the paper. It's kind of like buying a Polaroid. Uh, in fact, Polaroid has one too. They call their Zip. Same idea. Um, and in theory, these printers uh, are going to give you actually better photo prints. They work more like the you know the prints that you would get at a drugstore or at a Photoshop, because it's using a dye sublimation technology that gives you a nice vivid colors and they're glossy i don't have any uh, direct experience uh, with any of these the only thing i would caution you is they can add up because when you know just like polaroid film right you when, you, when you're buying this you, you're it's expensive um we're talking maybe a buck or more a print so you should always check the cost of what we call the consumables so the polaroid for instance for 15 bucks uh, you can get uh, a 30 pack, so that's 50 cents each. I'm not sure what the zinc um, paper costs, the zinc photo paper, but just remember that you have to buy it from that company forever at whatever price they charge. And 50 cents is a too bad. 50 cents is not too bad. You know, I love the yeah. idea about this. You can carry it in your pocket. I mean, they're literally that small, and uh, and it's fun for parties, for events. People like getting prints. Um, so I think there's a lot of use for this. I d what I don't know is how long these will last. They're not, I don't think, using Polaroid-style technology. Remember, Polaroids, you're, if you're old enough to remember Polaroids, they would, they would fade and uh, after time. I, don't, I would guess this is not the case. I would guess this is uh, more like a die sub printer and would, should last a long time. Zinc paper is also 50 cents, I'm told. Um, and, and the other thing to note is how... If you look at it, these are smaller than you think. The zinc prints two by three, two inches by three inches. So just keep that in mind. It's not, uh, it's not, these are not what we would call full sized shots, right? Uh, exactly. By the way, the Polaroid also works with the zinc. So I guess this is, you know, my guess is the Polaroid's probably the same as the zinc. You know, maybe I should buy one of these just to give it a review for you. Yeah, what what would you use it for? What 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 what's your idea? Well, I do a lot of Instagram photos, and typically the only way to to get them printed because it's a compressed file uh, is to usually go off of a website, and it's, right. they run quite a bit of money to do it, and they're pretty limited on what they offer. Yeah, so you have to wait till you uh, you can either download it or they mail them back to you. If you're willing to go a little bit bigger, if you want to carry it in your pocket. The zinc probably is the way to go. If you want to go a little bit bigger, zinc is 130 bucks for under 100 bucks. Canon makes a small wireless compact photo printer. It's a little bit bigger, you know. It's less compact, less expensive, and I think it does larger prints. That's called the selfie with a ph s e l p h y. Boy, there's a no, lot of these. Epson, the selfie. Are they tied into the social media sites though. Um. Well, yeah, because it's just run software on. It really, it all ends up being what apps uh, you have. So, if, as long as they have apps, which these do, uh, you'll be good. Um, these these will print. The selfie can print four by six, two by three, three by four, and two by two. So you can do a broader range of sizes on this. Uh, I'm not sure how much it costs. Let's see, thirty three cents a print. So it's a little less expensive 
on consumables as well. I'm looking at a PC Magazine review. They also review Epson's Picture Mate. They have a couple of little ones, the Fuji Instax Share. This is a big category all of a sudden. But the HP Zinc is the one that's getting all the attention because it's so cute. And all, all the kids want one, right? But I would take a look at that Canon selfie as an alternative. Now, does that use ink, or is that also embedded on the paper? Same thing. You use a special... Well, let me see. You know what? That's a good question. Wait a minute. It does look like it uses ink, so let me make sure. That's how they get it so small, right? Uh, iOS and Android, postcards... Uh, um, I think it. I think it's the paper. The ink is in the paper. But that's, okay. a, good, that's a good question, yeah. Um, another editor's choice from PC Magazine, the Epson Picture Mate Charm which is even less, 25 cents per page. Oh, Epson's discontinued it, so you're going to have to look around. You may be able to still find it uh, in a lot of places. So the uh, the PC Magazine's editor's choice, and they really test these things like crazy, is uh, the less expensive Canon Selfie. But I think the Zinc looks pretty cool. I'm going to get a Zinc because I like the name. <laughs> and what? And you're going to hand them out? What are you going to do with them? No, I, just to kind of test out what they look like because they always look different on the screen. After I know, I know, yeah. Um, and then you know, I have I have used in the past apps that will uh, you do it on the phone and they'll send you a book. Um, yeah. And so if that's if all you were going to do is like put them in a book and put them on the shelf, that might be a a, a way to go is is use one of those uh, apps that does that kind of thing. But I, you know, I like this idea. If I think it's most useful, like if you're at an event and you're handing out pictures to people, like at that, because yeah. it's instant, right? Yeah, perfect. So that'd be kind of fun. Yeah.